All I can say is that only if when they were in government, they had done some nyay to the people, uh, the nyay yatra would uh, not be needed. The fact is that these are the people in whose regime uh, countries suffered the biggest injustice. Example, in 2014, this country only had more than 11 crore, less than 12 crore bank accounts. We were a country even in 2014 of 120 crore people. And a country which is a country of 120 crore people, they would be, I'm sure, families like Nehru Gandhi family, which will have only four inmates, but 40 bank accounts and maybe many outside the country also. But a normal person, a normal householder, did not have access to banking facility, did not have access to the resources of this nation. So when Prime Minister Modi became the Prime Minister, he had to open 52 crore bank accounts so that people can get connected to the economic system of this country and get access to the resources. The other example, 12 crore toilets had to be made in this country. If people were not given access to toilets, people did not have access to clean cooking gas, people did not have access to the houses, the pakka houses. People had no access to fertilizers or there was so much of corruption even in those places. The Nyayatra would not have been needed, their work would have spoken for itself. These are the perpetrators of injustice who are running the Justice Yatra, the Nyayatra. And only thing Rahul Gandhi had to do was read the history of his own governance or his own party. And recently, Sam Pitroda has made a very controversial remark on Ram. How do you see it? These are the people for whom Ram was only an imaginary character. I'm not really surprised by the remarks of Sam Pitroda. All I can say is people like Sam Pitroda are disconnected with this country and the ethos and values of this country. If they were connected, they would have known what Ramayana taught us. They would have understood the concept of Ram Rajya and they would have also understood how invaders destroyed the Ram temple, tried to attack the Hindu value system, the values of civilization of this country and resilience which Hindus have showcased over so many centuries, he would have understood. So they would have understood what invasion and conversion is all about and how people's faith was mauled by these very people. My last question would be about the Sabrimata uh, loose management. There has been reports of mismatch, uh, there has been a lot of crowd and there has been a reports of uh, mismanagement uh, there. What do you have to say about that? All I can say is that these are the people who benefit from uh, uh, state, uh, uh, state is the benefactor of all the money which is given to the temples and temple management being in the hands of the state government which has no faith in the faith itself. Uh, uh, ma mismanagement is one such offshoot of uh, their lack of faith in the faith.